Hey everyone, I'm going to be doing a uh, little walk around on this 2018 Ram 2500. Um, just going to kind of get right into it. The battery on this GoPro is almost dead, so just going to try and do a quick little walk around review type of deal. I've had this for about eight months, I would say. Uh, I put almost 12,000 miles on it, uh, which isn't a ton, but um, it's a 2018 Ram 2500 Laramie long bed. Um, it's got the 6.7 Cummins turbo diesel in it with the 68 RFE uh, automatic transmission. And it does have the sports appearance package. Um, and you kind of get the, the black wheels. Um, you get the black emblems. You kind of get the... I, I'm pretty sure only the sports package comes with this, but I might be wrong. It's kind of like the blacked out inside of the, the headlights. Pretty sure that's only the sports appearance package. You get the color match bumpers the sport uh, front grille and this one does have the uh, factory tow mirrors and same with the rear bumper it is color matched as well and you also have the blacked out emblems on the back now there's a couple other things that, uh, that this truck has and um, it's it, pretty sure it's an option uh, the spray-in bed liner that was from the factory and then all of them I'm pretty sure come with these uh, bed lights LED bed lights right there there's a little button that you just click and also turns on the uh, the third brake light light now that is only that is one of the options that I wanted but uh, this truck didn't have it whenever I got it um, they do make an LED third brake light that's not really red like that it's got like a black smoked out finish to it um, this truck does not have that. Now going into the inside, um, it is the Laramie, so it's got a uh, black interior, black leather interior. As you guys can kind of see, this is the long bed. It's just the crew cab, though. It's not the mega cab or anything like that. Um, these fold up, and then you've got storage underneath. Um, you only have storage underneath this one. Uh, these seats also fold up but uh, it's just the subwoofer factory subwoofer um, this one does have the Alpine uh, stereo system in it now these right here are very nice I've used them a ton they're little ramps that fold down and it makes a flat floor hopefully you guys can see all this but I have stuff underneath there but anyway it makes a flat floor um, I put a dog kennel back here, you know, it's a good bit of room. The Mega Cab, I know people can actually put like a little blow up mattress and sleep back here. This one doesn't quite have that much room, but uh, it is definitely pretty roomy and that is an awesome feature to have. Um, the rear seats also are heated. They don't have uh, cooling or anything, but they are heated seats in the back. And then going into the front, uh, now this does have the keyless entry. Um, you can either just have the key fob in your pocket and press, or basically don't even press anything. You basically just grab onto the handle and the door unlocks. And then to lock it, you just press that little button there. And uh, going into the front, sorry, I got a little bit of stuff in here. It is my, my daily driver. Um, but got the leather seats up front. It's uh, power adjustable. You've got your, you know, your presets that you can save down here you've got your automatic headlights um, now this steering wheel is really nice I love this steering wheel it's a it's a heated steering wheel um, and it's got all your controls for your your you know stereo system and cruise control and everything like that on the back side of the steering wheel you've got your on this side you've got your uh, channel selection the other side of the steering wheel is your volume selection. It's got um, electric pedals, so you can adjust them back or front. And I kind of hop up in here real quick and just kind of show you guys a few things. So this one does have the uh, push button start. Some of them come with the key, you know, still, but this one does have that option. And it's got uh, heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. Passenger also has heated and cooled seats. It's got the front and rear uh, parking sensors. It's got an exhaust brake that works absolutely amazing uh, whenever you're towing or whenever, even whenever you're not towing. Um, it basically keeps you right at that, you know, the right speed. It's got the tow haul mode and then traction control button. 
you can also get this truck with uh, basically like upfitter or outfitter, however you want to say it, switches um, where you can you know hook up winches or you can hook up lights. Now this truck, since it is the Ram 2500, um, also the 3500 has it. I don't know about the 1500, um, but it does have the trailer brake already you know installed in here. It has the electronic uh, switch on the fly, four wheel drive transfer case deal. Um, that's nice. And then I do also have this uh, this center console, so you can also get this truck with like the little third row seat. Um, I've never liked that. I like having the, the nice big console. Um, I like being able to open this up. You've got your charging ports there, aux port, and then the other storage container is really deep, and you can fit tons of stuff in there. Um, so that's one thing that I love about it. it. Has a little cell phone holder. You put your cell phone right in there. And then I will go ahead and turn on the ignition just to kind of show you guys this screen here. All right, and then this truck also has the uh, 115 volt AC, you know, wall plug outlet there. It's got the two storage compartments, one up top, and then you've got your normal glove compartment down below. And then you've got this, I want to say it's a eight inch screen. I might be wrong. Uh, the, this is the 2018, the 2019 has the optional I believe 12 inch screen um, sorry for the beeping but anyway everything's touch screen um, you've got your your apps here you've got Siri uh, Sirius XM travel link it's very nice you can you know look up weather maps you can look up you know weather fuel prices movie listings sports um, the one thing that I don't like about this truck is that it doesn't come with like a paper manual I've tried calling and actually getting a paper manual sent to me they don't do it anymore apparently so um, but you've got your backup camera you've got your parking sensors like I said before all your media stuff it does have navigation basically everything that you need this thing is really great it's very responsive I've not had any issues at all with it um, the cluster up here is very nice as well Let's see if I can uh, kinda show you guys a little bit of it So it shows you all your you know vehicle information, trans temp, coolant temp, oil temperature, oil pressure. You can fully customize this to show you know whatever you want on there. Um, speedometer, audio stuff. You've got your trailer distance, um, economy. I'm averaging about 17 to 18 miles per gallon. But that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the key because that is pretty annoying. It's got your SOS, assist button. Um, this, this truck does not have the sunroof. I did not want a sunroof because I've had issues with them leaking in the past. Um, it does have the power rear window back there, and then it also has your three garage door uh, programmable buttons up top. Now another option, I don't know if this comes with every single Ram 2500 or if it's just a sports package edition or if this is an extra add-on. I'm pretty sure it might be an extra add-on, but uh, these Ram uh, side steps here, they're extremely nice. I love them. They match everything. They look great. Um, you also have these, I want to say they're Kony shocks. I might be wrong on that, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Now, um, also one thing I didn't mention is these also fold in, so they're electrical, you know, press a button, they fold in. If you need to get into tight spots or whatever the issue might be, go ahead and open this up. This is the 6.7 uh, Cummins turbo diesel. I got this truck uh, mainly because of this engine. Um, I've looked at the Ford 6.7s, they're awesome, they're faster, they're more powerful stock, but um, the issue for me is just working on them. I, I'm used to working on, you know, inline six engines, four cylinder engines and stuff like that. Um, and uh, this is very, very, very simple. Um, you know, it really hasn't changed much throughout the years either. So, um, you know, down the road, whenever the warranty does end, very easy to modify. Um, this truck is stock. It does still have all the emissions equipment. And uh, it's got the two batteries like normal. Ram Active Air airbox. Um, I haven't had any issues with the truck. The only thing that I have noticed here on this uh, AC port, if you guys can see all that gunk around it, I've wiped that off multiple times and so I'm not sure if it's leaking or 
what the deal is. AC, AC still works great. I haven't hooked it up to any manifold gauges or anything to actually see how much Freon's in it, but um, it's in it's under warranty, so if something is wrong with that, I'm sure they'll fix it no problem. But uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think that I have missed anything, but if you guys have any questions on the truck, just uh, just let me know. Um, I have about 12,000 miles on this, and I did recently just go on a 2,000 mile trip, uh, South Carolina to North Carolina, back to South Carolina to Florida, back to South Carolina to North Carolina, back to South Carolina. It was like a 40 or 38 hour um, trip, and uh, about 2,000 miles. Uh, no, no issues at all, no hiccups. Um, I'm doing the oil changes about every 7,500 miles, and uh, ro rotating the tires basically at the same time so um, but yeah if you guys have any questions or anything if you guys want to see more or if you want to you know hear about the towing or anything like that I do use this truck to tow car trailer um, and it tows awesome just to give you <laughs> obviously I'm sure you know you guys know that but um, I'm not gonna go into any, any of like the towing specs or anything like that in this video but if you guys are interested in all that stuff uh, let me know down in the comments below um, I haven't uploaded on this channel in a while. Um, I do plan on kind of revamping it and uh, kind of changing up a few things and then possibly uploading some more content. It'll be different than my normal car builds and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, throw down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this truck or if you guys prefer Ford or, you know, Chevy or whatever the, the deal is, just let me know. Um, I like all the trucks, but this is the one that I chose. And uh, so far, I love it. So. Anyways, guys, see you guys in the next one. Peace.